Okay, guys, um, just wanted to do a video just to show you um, some of my exploits at the moment. And um, what I've got at the minute is um, I've been thinking about the situation I had with the NES. Um, amazing that I, I'll tell you the truth, guys, I have absolutely zero expertise when it comes to like anything <laughs> to do with this kind of thing, stripping it down and all that. When I stripped it down, I had absolutely less than zero um, confidence in myself and in my ability to repair it. Um, I, but I was kind of desperate, and it's not like there's anyone that I know that would understand these things in the first place um, locally. So um, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, right? Um, so I took it to part, and obviously t the things that I did worked, and it fixed it, and like I'm stoked. <laughs> Um, so the next situation, I thought, right, I'm, I'm totally like buzzing now. The confidence is flying high. So I thought, well, let's try and look at something else. So I had a SNES mouse just sat there, idle, not doing anything, and um, basically just totally. Well, it worked to a point. <laughs> you know, it it worked in so much as the buttons worked, but everything. But it just looked awful. It was terrible. And no matter what I did to it, I just couldn't get it right. So um, I took it apart. And uh, I've taken it back today, and basically I put it in the what I call the what I'm now patenting as the retro game of VX clean and sheen. Um, there's the top half of the mouse and the bottom half, and I'm putting it through its um, I'm putting it through a rinse basically. I'm, it, think of retro bright, but without any of the harsh you know stuff um, in it. Um, that's pretty much what I've got there, and a little bit of you know cleaning solutions, that kind of thing, um, a mixture of things really. And to be fair, it does the job. Um, it requires a little bit of elbow grease when it comes out, but um, the majority of the dirt comes off of it, and and that's the main. Um, I'm giving it a pretty hefty clean, hence the reason why I'm taking it out of the part the the containers <laughs> straight away. Um, so there you go, that's what it's doing. Looks kind of like the alien, looks like a xenomorph, but anyway. Um, <laughs> basically, uh, the bottom half of it, well, obviously there's the ball. The ball is pretty much an irrelevance. It's easy to clean, and um, it is what it is at the end of the day. It's just a straightforward ball. Um, so that's that. Um, in terms of this bit, this is important, this bit, because this was... Um, this was snapped. Um, you may not be able to see that very well. It may not focus. I'm not sure. But where it says open, just below the N, there's a little crack there, a little hairline crack. It, basically, it snapped. Um, it was snapped when I got it. So um, I've used this. this uh, you're going to look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> but I've used um, blue tack to fuse the two pieces together. Um, it is solid, um, and it can sustain the weight of the ball, which is the main thing, um, as this test proves. So um, when it's in use, um, it does what it's supposed to do. It's not a perfect fix, of course it isn't, but um, by the same token, it is not immediately obvious what the pro you know that it was broken, and. Um, it does everything that it's supposed to do job-wise, so I would consider that a fix. Um, so they go up there, they're out the way. So that's going to get the clean of its life, near enough. And um, I'll just take you over to the component bits. So for anyone who takes a passing and interest in these things, that's what the inside of a SNES mouse looks like. Um, the micro switches um, are a little bit, one of the micro switches is a little bit duff. Um, ironically. Um, but yeah, it, I might be able to do something with that as well. Um, that's how confident I am. <laughs> anyway, guys, there, there you go. So. Back to these. That is cleaned, and that is cleaned, and those are fixed. And obviously, you can, how can you fix a bot? But anyway, <laughs> they're done. But um, yeah, uh, the next thing uh, I've got a Dreamcast controller, which is totally ugly looking. 
and I'm going to get to work on that. And if I can make that look as good as I'm hoping that this will look, then um, I'll make that my primary controller. But um, in the meantime, guys, um, I'm out of here and um, speak to you soon.